welcome back to Jactorial. In this video, we'll present you the third episode of Nearpod. In this episode, we'll talk about the activity option while making lessons. We'll give you an introduction of each activity option along with how it works. If you're new to Nearpod, make sure to watch part 1 and part 2 first before you watch this video. Now let us get started. Let's first talk about the activity option, Time to Climb. First, press on Add Content or Activity, then scroll down and click on Time to Climb. Time to Climb is like Kahoot. Students will play a quiz game consisting of MCQ questions. There are some templates given with some questions displayed on the left part of the screen. If you choose not to choose a template from the given options, your button enables you to make your own quiz. Now let us start editing the quiz. First of all, enter the question in the area given. Subsequently, choose whether you want your answer type to be text or images. If you choose text, you can write the answers down in the space provided. If you choose images, you are able to upload images in the space provided. To add more answers, click on Add Answers and follow the previous instructions. Keep in mind that there is a limit of 4 answers. You can also add images to your question by clicking on Add Reference Image. To change the time limit on the question, click on the time on the right side of the screen. Then you can change Change the time with the intervals of 5 seconds. 1 minute and 30 seconds is the longest time with the shortest being 5 seconds. You can also duplicate questions and delete questions by clicking on the buttons beside the timer button. To add another question, click on the add question on the button. Then all you need to do is follow the previous steps. To preview the questions, click on save and exit then click on preview button on the main lesson. Next, let us move on to open-ended questions. Nearpop offers various different features that allows maximum customization. These are font size, bold, italic size, underline, strike through, text color, highlight, X line left, center, right, justify, ordered list, unordered list, indent, superscript, subscript, special symbols, and math equation typer. Moving on, let us talk about math editor. You can write various different types of math expressions ranging from matrices to integrals. You can also set a time limit by clicking on the add timer on the top right corner of your screen. Below that, you have the option to add image, audio, or other medias. You can also enable video audio recording by switching it on. Once you're satisfied with your results, press on save. On to the next one, we have matching pairs. You can add instructions, you can also add a timer on the top right. Add a pair by clicking on the add pair button and then inserting images or text. The students will need to match the pairs on the games later on. Click on preview to see how the students would see the game and then save. Next, we have quiz. For quiz, it has the same basic features as open-ended questions, but instead of students answering with text, they choose the MCQ options. You can add answers to the quiz. This is basically like climb to the top but with a different quiz format. For draw it, as the name suggests, students will draw whatever is instructed. You can write instructions at the top and also upload media to further help the students. You can add a timer too. It is also possible to add a background image for the students to draw in. If none is provided, a blank canvas is given. Additionally, Nearpod enables you to find templates from the Nearpod library by selecting the template to the left of the screen. Make sure to click on save once you're done. Next, we have Collaborate Board. A collaborative board allows students to see the responses from other students in real time. First, you will need to enter a topic and then add a description. You can also input an image and choose your style from the given options. Now let us talk about the poll feature. Poll is basically like a survey. You are to add a question and answer options. You can add up to 15 answer options and you can also add a timer, add media and allow students to select multiple options. On to fill in the blanks. For fill in the blanks, first step is to pick a text style and write your text. Next, you are to click on the text you want to move back for your students to fill back in. And voila, you are done. Now let us take a look on how memory test works. First, add your picture first either by Bing Images or from your computer or Dropbox. Once you've entered the image, drop and drag them into the boxes provided. Repeat this process until all the boxes are filled. 
You can change the grid, grid size by clicking on the setting button. The choices are 6 pairs, 8 pairs, 12 pairs. Click on done when you're finished. Thank you for tuning in for this week's tutorial. We hope this video gives you a greater insight of the activity options provided in your pod. If you like this video, don't forget to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe. Click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of our tutorial video. And that's it. Toodles!